Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be looking into a complete inbox copy of Valkyrie Profile. Um, this is a great game, I picked it up not too long ago. I've been kind of getting into a phase of collecting uh, more expensive PS1 titles and this is definitely one of them. Um, this game has been recommended from, from a lot of people to, for me to play. I am a fan of RPGs and this is considered to be one of the best RPGs in the system. Um, I don't know too much about the gameplay. I have seen some videos, but I am very, very not into the game yet. I, I, did, I know it's a huge grind to play this game. It's so big that it actually has two discs. So I have I can't really give opinions on the game. It looks great so far. Uh, one of the big reasons why I bought this is the covers absolutely beautiful, as well as the sprite work in the game. It looks amazing, and I'm a sucker for really nice sprites. So. That's why I pick it up. Um, so let's, yeah, let's get into it. This is the North American release that was released, I think, in the year 2000 in North America, 1999 in Japan. This is not the Japanese version. The Japanese version is significantly cheaper and less rare. Um, so if you I don't, uh, maybe know Japanese or want to get an emulator, definitely a way to go since this game is pretty expensive these days. Here's the front. Um, unlike other PS1 games, this is actually not removable from like an easily removable. You'll see what I mean in a sec. This game was released um, by Tri developed by Triace and released by Square Enix, if I'm correct. You can see the little Square Enix, old Square Enix logo. Comes with two discs, as they're said. Nothing here really in the top. Here you have the side. PlayStation logo. Uh, whoever bought this was extremely lucky that they purchased it for $34.99. I like to keep these on my games because it kind of shows some of the history uh, behind the games. This could easily be taken off, but I actually like having it. It makes it uh, a little bit personalized. Here's the first disc, disc one. Take out the disc so you guys can see it really quick. Also, some awesome art right there. Um, I'm not really familiar with the characters, so I'm not going to pretend like I know who they are. But um, this one was in very good condition. It was basically the person says stashed away in their collection. It's been tested. It works perfectly. I'll actually uh, show a little bit of the game so you can know how what it's supposed to look like back it's kind of one of those black backs or very dark blue backs put it right here very carefully I'll show you guys the inside so this is where the inside of uh, the front page is and this actually is not removable um, some of these two discs did this system where they would have the removable manual right here that makes it a complete box in my opinion um, but it's very cool to have some art right here two characters I do not know about this back here is actually where the manual is uh, be very careful taking it out this kind of <laughs> drops out but this is the manual I love these manuals because uh, they have some very cool art um, instructions, some of the lore, like right here, some of the character backgrounds and uh, buttons, layout of the game. I've heard that it is a pretty long uh, RPG that takes a lot of grinding, so definitely. Um, I've heard some people even say that you want to use a strategy guide because there are different endings, and some people I know are very, very particular with what ending they want to get, so. Do consider that when if you are looking into this game it is definitely a long one um, it has the there's actually a guide which I am looking for I do know that it's pretty expensive so maybe something that I'll get in the future here's a promotion for the game Busta Groove 2 that was Busta Move I was like that's not Busta Move You always have to be kind of careful opening these. If you hear that sound, it's actually the label in the back. But here is disc two. 
this game was so big and so deep in depth that I needed two discs. It will load your previous uh, memory file into disc two so that you can progress the story. If I am correct on that, let me know. If I'm wrong, also let me know, I guess. But that's from what I've been reading online. Some more characters. I love the type of uh, 90s uh, you know, fantasy look, maybe like some type of anime look if you're into that. A little Square Enix logo right there in the bottom. Okay. Here's the disc. Disc 2 in the bottom. Some cereal right there. I guess I'll show you the back. Again, another, the same bag, not a black bag. Actually, um, let me see. I'll give you guys a better look at the front disc. I actually didn't really do that, so let me do that really quick. It says disc one. Non-transparent Valkyrie. Get a very beautiful uh, game, like art-wise, even the the cover and stuff has been great. Um, I've heard that the game itself is very, very well made and very aesthetically pleasing. So, one of the reasons why I got it. The Gods at War. Here's the back. Uh, this is from the creator of the Star Ocean: The Second Story, another great game that I do have. If you want me to review it or open it, let me know. back some of the screenshots of the game the fights in typical RPG format turn-based you know that'd be uh, this is kind of a scuffed way to do it but um, I'll boot up the first disc show you what you're supposed to see um, this is the LCD uh, PS1 one of my favorite things ever. Honestly, if you have a PS1, I'd recommend you try to get pick up this little screen. It's awesome for, if you want to play on the go or if you just want to play on the desk and not have to be plugged into a CRT TV. Hopefully the picture's not too pixelated for you guys. Um, I'll continue. I'm pretty sure this won't be much of a a spoiler. Um, yeah, I'm actually like brand new at the game, so won't be much of a spoiler. Uh, I'll just start it and show a tiny bit of the intro, I guess. If I remember correctly, <laughs> this intro is stupid long, so I'm just gonna end it right here. I'm actually just gonna turn it off. But yeah, that is my unboxing of Valkyrie Profile. Um, I've heard only great things about this game. Um, I've heard that it's extremely rare and like, desirable because it's such a good game, and with less than a hundred thousand copies sold in the U.S. and I guess someone posted that only around 70,000 copies are still actually working. It's pretty rare when you consider other popular games selling, you know, hundreds of thousands to millions of copies. This is a pretty rare game and there's really, it's not hard to see why the price is going up a lot. Um, I usually like in the end of these videos to kind of say what the price are right now. Um, but just know that this could be a lot more or a lot less in the future. Uh, video game prices have been crazy lately and they seem not to be going down <laughs> anytime soon, but um, I could be wrong. This uh, Today is 
um, August 13th, 2021. So if you're watching this in the future, that's a lot more or less. And, you know, no, that's why, you know, prices can change uh, drastically. This game um, right now is, per is priced at around $320 complete in box. Um, I've been seeing copies go for a lot more or a lot less, depending on the condition. Um, a copy like this, I guess, that is in very good condition, has no cracks whatsoever in the box, could probably fetch a little bit more. But you could probably find one for under actually three hundred dollars if you don't mind having a couple cracks and um, you know maybe a missing manual or something. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Let me know if you guys want a specific game for me to open and review a little bit. Um, I've been collecting a lot of PS One lately and PS Two, so if you have anything in mind, let me know. I also have some GameCube and Game Boy Advance. Thanks and have a good one.